Doug Williams, Viva Las Vegas Autos. You know, when I get one of these vehicles, they just doggone excite me. The reason why, back in 1991, I bought my first Westphalia camper. And ever since then, I've been in love with them. Um, raised my two boys in them. I uh, had a lot of fun camping. Uh, I've owned probably, since 91, at least 30, maybe 40 of them all together. All vintages. Um, one that even had a walk-in shower. But uh, what really excites me is when I find one that's like in absolutely mint condition, like this 1979 Westphalia. Um, I had an opportunity to buy this car and had to take it because it was just, I mean, everywhere you look, you'll go down and you'll look in like little areas that you normally think weren't in great condition, but this car just shines everywhere. And the guy who had it just took immaculate care of the inside and the outside. The only thing this car's had done was a repaint um, a few years back. It's done very, very well. Very a nice quality of paint job on it. And even you don't even see tape lines on the rubber or anything like that. It's just in fantastic condition. Top's great uh, condition. Rubber um, is all supple rubber. Tires are brand new. Wheels look flawless. Um, just everywhere you look on this thing, phenomenal condition. Another thing that uh, when it comes to old 79 and earlier campers, a lot of them have been modified on the interiors. This one right here, stock original. The original plaid, I've never seen seats this nice, ever. Uh, usually you feel the metal coming through them. Uh, they're just not in this good a condition. And then talk about rust. You know, a lot of them out there that you see around the country have tons of rust. You see it down underneath the wheel wells, things like that. This thing doesn't have a speck of rust anywhere on the car. Uh, you look at the floorboards in here, and uh, just fantastic condition when you look at those floorboards. They look like it was come out of the factory yesterday on them. Just incredible everywhere you look. Um, carpet, rubber, door handles, door panels. Uh, you know, somebody didn't go out and make some wooden door panel like you see a lot of the times. Uh, the tent is in fantastic condition. There's about a four inch tear in the, in the um, netting up there and that's about it. That's all you see. Uh, the sides of the tent are perfect condition. The bed is perfect condition. The cabinetry is phenomenal. Very, very little uh, areas on the cabinetry where you can even see wear. Uh, it's just incredible. All your door seals, rubber, everywhere you look on this vehicle, just outstanding. Uh, when you look in our pictures on our site, you're going to see some fantastic undercarriage pictures. Uh, one of the things I do with all my cars, put them on a lift, take a look underneath them, and when that really tells you the story. You look underneath this car, you could eat your dinner off of it. It's just incredible undercarriage, no rust anywhere, fantastic metal, um, probably one of the finest units in the country, I'm going to guess. Uh, windows close and open all properly, it's just really all your original netting uh, and uh, drapes inside are all in there. Even the 40 pound little hammock that goes in here, you'll see that in the pictures as well, is in there. Uh, the rear net for the rear door is in there. I mean, come around the back, take a look at this thing. Little things like this just excited me. When I bought the car, when I said, wow, that's the original gas cap right there. Just like cool. And you look close, look at the rubber. Just fantastic condition on this thing. Tail lights, excellent condition. Window rubber, excellent condition. Um, a lot of these, when you look at them, you'll uh, like look at the foam, and a lot of these older units, I mean, they wear. The foam looks worn on it, but you look at this, and you can see the crisp cornering on the foam. I mean, it, I know I'm kind of picking at it a little bit, but it's like on older units, you'll see them where this is just, the foam is just shot and gone. The wood, delamination on wood everywhere on older units, not on this car. The, the delamination on this car, zero. Um, the wood is just in fantastic condition. Even the original headliners in fantastic condition. Uh, all your drapery, not sun faded. It's just fantastic condition. Uh, you look in the engine bay in this thing, and again, you, you see an engine. This engine was rebuilt. Original engine at 85,000 miles. This has got 116,000 original miles on it, and it runs and drives like it. In fact, speaking about uh, the condition of the mechanical aspects, this thing has got all new steering suspension everywhere. Suspension on the car, brand new. Steering box, brand new. Uh, your uh, sway bars, brand new. Um, the guy who spent quite a bit of money restoring all the mechanical aspects of the car. Uh, original engine, original transmission, original driveline, of course. 
um, and then you know your steering, your brakes, uh, your calipers, all brand new on this car. So if you're looking to get a fine unit, one that you can show off at the car shows, probably have the best unit out there, uh, simply stock, not modified, this is it in its original color, looking pristine, running pristine, and we're going to show you how it runs. We're going to take this thing for a drive and show you that as well. So come on with me for a second. Cool. Inside, this is where the van shines as well as outside. Um, just everywhere you look. I love the stickers that they put on. A lot of them are usually funky. Not these. This just looks just beautiful. You can tell the cabinetry is in great condition. The only thing I was missing when I bought the unit was a table. And I was able to track down an original table. It has a little bit of delamination on the back side, but not bad. It's even the original one with the fold down, which that's a very hard table to find. They make this one, but they don't make the folded down one. But again, wood, excellent. All the lights work, even the faucet works. Everything works in this vehicle. Let's go for a drive. Come on. Starts up just like that. Great, great condition mechanically, physically, and cosmetically. It's just nothing about this thing that isn't in great condition. Materials on the seats, perfect condition. Literally, unbelievable. Dash, fantastic condition. The only thing that's been altered since original was the guy put in a nice Kenwood sound system with a jack for auxiliaries. I love the air conditioning system here. It actually works and blows. Nice air conditioning. <laughs> the kind that just blows air at you. Not a real AC unit. All your lights, turn signals, all that kind of stuff works. Heater works. Speedometer works. 116,408 original miles on this car. And I'll tell you, you can't go anywhere without people saying, thumbs up, cool, love that. It's just kind of the way it is. Engine sounds fantastic in this vehicle too. Of course it should be. It's only got about 20,000 miles on it, maybe maybe 30,000 miles on it is all. Transmission works perfect. Headliner's in great shape. Handles great. It's got actually great power. These things originally came with fuel injection and the guy upgraded it with a Weber on it which actually gives it more power and a lot more reliability. Now granted, she isn't a sports car so you can't take the corners you know, 90 miles an hour like I do with a lot of my cars. But I'll tell you, this car, you just go there wherever you want to go and you go slow, fun, and stop and have a picnic along the way if that's what you want to do. Even the horn works. You want an attention? Get yourself a green Volkswagen camper. Froggy green. It's actually just a lot of fun. My kids were little, take them up in the Uintas in our camper, went all over the place. Hung out at the beaches down in Southern California. We pack up the back end and just split on a weekend. You know, the cool thing about it is you'd be driving these things and one thing about people have owned West Follies, if you haven't owned one yet, go anywhere in them. You know, you don't have to worry about the top being too high because you can drive into regular sized garages. Bring it in your own garage at home. The top's just not too high. It's one thing I loved about ours, all the ones we've ever had. Like I said, I've owned, the first one I owned was a 1991. The oldest one I've owned was a 
67 it was. Owned a 70. I was telling you about it earlier. Had a walk-in shower on it. That one went back to Boston. But I'll tell you, every one I've owned. I wish I wouldn't have sold it, actually. Everyone. But you know what? You got to move on. That's the way I do business. You buy them, you go for that hunt, you find the, the unit, and you can make somebody else's dream come true. put about probably 300 miles on this unit already and uh, was clipping right along on the freeway about 65 70 most time I wouldn't go 70 but most time 65 with no problem heading up the hills with plenty of power no problem shifting flawless no hiccups in the synchros at all That I know you won't be disappointed. I know out of all the ones I've ever seen, it's the finest one I've ever had. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed this video. I'll tell you, I look for the finest out there, try to find the best cars I can. They're a lot of fun. If you like our videos, like us on uh, YouTube. And uh, if you have any comments, put them on YouTube. Let us know what you'd like to see. Always appreciate that. Thanks again for taking the time.